Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Make it bigger. Like this. I can't go out any further on this side. Nothing more can be done over there. So there I've got a couple of extra bigger bits on there. That's just going to make that one a little larger, which will allow some additional bits to come through. Uh, then finally, I'm going to want down here with buildings, I'm going to want a road depot, which I'm going to put opposite the bus station over here. No, I'm not. I'm going to put that one up here. That one's going to go up there. So he's, he's out of the way. That's, that's why I want to move that one up there. So he's slightly out of the way. And then streets here. I said finally, but it wasn't finally at all. There is one more bit that I want to do. That house is in the wrong place. Unfortunately for the owner of that house, it needs to be removed to make way for progress. And that means that the first bit of the bus route will actually go from there straight up to there now. If you have a look there, see, it's it's redirected the bus route. And that's, that's fine. So the Zurich one, the, the long line to Zurich, I'm going to have five vehicles running that line. So five Daimlers. One, two, three, four, five. And again, I'm not going to put any cut this series, uh, no, this series, this particular mission. I'm not going to color the vehicles in. I am going to name them all. So the five who are doing the long run are Anders, X Farmer 89, Soren Mercer, They Shizij, and Will 8150. You guys are all going to go on to line seven, doing the long run between St. Gallen and Zurich. And then the Zurich run in here, I'm going to have. Uh, how many am I going to have? I need, I'd say, eight vehicles to run this line all the way around in here. We have Amanda James, Austin Camps, Derek James, Leon, Oklahoma Farming, Old Finnish Farmer, and Ollie Sim, oh, and The Feed Guy 29. You guys are all going to be running around Zurich, transporting people around there. However, it doesn't look like we... Well, I don't know if we've got to join towns at all. I, I don't know about that bit. But we have now transported the person to Secret Meeting Place 1. I've got it on just normal play speed one times at the moment. So it is trickling along fairly slowly. But that person has now been transported. So I don't think it's going to take very long to get the person transported here to Secret Meeting Place 2. Secret Meeting Place 3 is going to be a little bit more difficult. We're going to need to establish a route. I've got passengers coming into Lucerne Passenger Station from Line 1. So I'm hoping that that will be all we need. We may not need to do anything more than that. So what I will do is I will build a road. And this is going to be a country road. There. Take me home, country road. Well, don't take me home. Take me to the site of the traitor. That's what we're doing this time. Is we're taking us to the site of the traitor. I need to be able to get a road up there and then a bus stop up there. So we're going to put our road up there. And this is not going to be easy. i gotta, I got to build a road coming down through the mountain down here. So I'll get it to... Let's move it on a bit further. Let's see how this works out. We've got a bridge going across there. Goodness me. That's going through a tunnel there. Tunneling through a little bit down there. Let's let's put that out to that point, And then I go from there. Right, it's very difficult to decide what's the best place to do this. I'll bring you to there, like that. I want to try and do it without making any tunnels turn up. So if I put you in like that, and then I bring you over that way, it's, see, it's, it's trying to make bridges and tunnels, and I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just have a steeper road. And then that one comes out to there, and then we're out onto the flat. Right, that's much better. So then the flat bit... And actually, I can just take that along here now. I can run that over to that point there. And then from there, I can run it over and join it onto there like that. Okay. There is my established route. A little bit of wiggling and weaving through there, but that's, that's not too bad. And that should be sufficient to take us to that property right there. 
So I'm going to put a building. I'm going to put a bus tram stop on that one. I don't think I need to go any further than that. Do I need to actually put one of these? Like, if I put that in... Oh, look. Look, I've got to be close enough. That's I don't think that one will actually work. I think I've got to have one of these. So it looks like I may need to put a road up onto this one. That's what i got to do. i got to put a road up to there like that. Right, I put that. So that's, like, connected to it. I can get rid of that bit. But that road is now connected to the secret meeting place. So then if I go over to here and I go to buildings and I put the bus stop, that will now work. I can put the bus stop on here like that. And that has connected that one. So I need more bus stops down here. I suppose it doesn't really... I don't need loads of bus stops down here. I only need one. I just want a... I want a bus tram station down here. I'll put one of those over there like that. And then we will build a route. I've transported the person to secret meeting place too already. That's done. And I will then build a line. And we will go with new line. I'll put one there. And I'll put one up there like that. Up King's Road. So we will go between the two up there. And we transport the people up. I, I, I don't feel good about this. It must be said. And... I don't want to be transported. Although we are transporting them up there so that we can catch them in the middle of their heinous act. So that at least is a step in the right direction. There's that bit done there. So then I want to go to here. I only need one vehicle for this job. Bye. That one vehicle right there. This one vehicle here is called... Where did I get to? Michael M. Michael M right there. And you are going to go to line 8. Right there. So we're going to follow Michael M. I'm going to latch on to you and I'm going to follow you. Just so that we can get this bit established. And then we'll start worrying about the coal and the iron ore. I'm not quite sure where we've got to go with that. So we'll put that one to there. Uh, let's speed this up, shall we? we go a little bit faster. I'm going to do it this way because we'll get the better view of us as we travel up across the hills up over there. Is this going to be enough? Like, I go into here. He's coming in round. Is he going to pick... He hasn't picked anybody up. I don't think this is enough. He's doing 35k along here. And then he's going out onto the open road. He's still doing 35k. Right. His 35k is going to be 35k all the way through by the look of it. We're hauling up into the mountains now. We're about to go through our tunnel. Quite a steep road that I got here. A little bit of a, too much of a curve on there. I'm not so sure I'm happy about that, but uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then right up to here. Now, do we just have to have him get up here in order to have it completed? It's not just get up here. He has actually got to transport a person. Now, have I got... Ah, there he is. The person is there waiting. we just got to wait for this vehicle to come all the way back. So, i got to deliver coal and iron ore. 50 coal to Como, 50 iron ore to Friedrichshafen. Friedrichshafen is over here. I've got to get 50 iron ore over here. There's the coal mine. Where's the iron ore? And the iron ore mine is over there. So I've got to have one train which will go between the two. That's all I need is one train going between the two. And then I can... Um, and, and basically, we've just got to swap the items over. That's that's all i got to do is, is just swap those items over. Michael M is now... Oh. Michael M is carrying 11 people up into the mountain and then back again. There's a lot of people who want to be involved in this. Are you all involved in this treachery? I, 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 I'm not sure I'm happy about this. Are, are, are they all involved in this treachery? Because that's a lot of treachery. There's a lot of treacherous people in here. That woman there at the back looks. She's very, very animated and there's nobody there with her. She must be talking to somebody on her phone. On her mobile phone beginning of the war all those years ago 
Right, we're coming. Oh, it's actually downhill there. I didn't realize that. And then in through our little tunnel that we made. It's not much of a tunnel here. And before we get up there, I'm going to zoom out like this. Just watch him. This should be the one. What luck. The diabolical plan has failed before you had to take action yourself. Germany has postponed the annexation of Switzerland, particularly because a trade agreement now obliges Switzerland to supply armaments exclusively to the Axis powers. Okay. Supplying armaments exclusively to the Axis powers kind of feels like we're losing our neutrality somewhat and we're, we're sort of being hemmed in through choices that aren't ours to make. Yeah. Well, that's one of the big choices that you have to make in a war, I guess. Uh, anyway, what I want to do next is I want to build a train that will go from the Como Iron Mine all the way over to the other. I would like to be able to upgrade this track, but I don't think I can. Is it going to... Yeah, I still don't have the upgrade option right here, so I'm, I'm not going to be able to do anything. We're going to have to stick with the trains that we've got. We can't go to electric trains yet. South Train Depot. Actually, no, I don't want to do that yet. I want to go New Line. And all we are going to want to do is we're going to want to go from the Como Station right there all the way over to the Friedrichshafen Station, which is that one there. There. I just want to go between those two. I don't want to do anything else. I just run between those two right there. It's a long track to run. Possibly we would want to run this with two trains, but I don't think we need to because we can just have a big train. That seems to be the key to this, I think, is to have a big train. So I will go with the South Train Depot down here, and I'm going to buy a vehicle. The boxcar is not the one that we want. We want the gondola right here. Uh, the steam locomotive is still going to be that one right there. And then we're going to go with the cargo wagon, and it is the gondola here, so that we've got the iron ore and the uh, iron ore and the coal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That will allow me to run eighty of the item in question. I'm hoping that is going to be sufficient. That train needs a name. You are. Who are you? We are looking down through. You are Papa Big Truck. Papa Big Truck, right there. And you are going to go on to line nine. There we go. Right, bring you out here. Train four. Papa Big Truck, we're going to watch you. We're going to keep a close eye on you and see where you're headed and what you're doing. You are you're going all the way to Friedrichshafen first. I can't do that. Well, I can actually do that. Because what I can do is I can wait for him to get up to here. And then I can reverse him so that he goes onto this one. But that one is already loading iron ore onto the station. So it's not going to hurt for us to go to the next station. Now, let's bring you up to here. Have I got issues with trains coming through? It doesn't look like it. I've got cargo coming through there. I've got cargo coming through here. Going right past each other. It's coming in around here. Next up, he's going to... So I'm going to do this so that we can follow the... And do it like that. And I'm going to go up like that. And we're coming through the tunnel again. <laughs> okay, this is very cool. And slightly weird i got to admit, that is slightly weird looking at it like that. Noisy as well, admittedly. This is the Gothard Tunnel. This is the tunnel that we built ourselves. We had a lot to do with this. We spent a lot of time building that. Horses and carts were used. I suppose technically... It, whoa! <laughs> I didn't expect that. Right. If I lower me down a little bit like that. The next train we see, we might actually go right through the train if we will see another one and it, it's this use, clever use of the um the signals all the way through it's actually it's really impressive i am really really impressed with the way the signals work on this we went right through there without any issues at all the cars were waiting and then signaled again that we can run right through 
So there's crossover points and there's other points and there's all sorts of points. So far, throwing extra trains onto the track has not made any difference whatsoever. It hasn't caused any problems. I do apologise that it is a little bit noisy. Um, but I think it's worth it. And then all the way into here. We come right to the end right there and oh, I've only got 27 on board. That means we've got to wait for it to go and do that entire run once again. Um, and now, of course, we need to see if it's going to be able to transport everything that we want it to transport without coming to grief against any of the trains because we're coming the other way now. We've got more trains that we're going to have to watch. Um... This is, this is, like, I, I'm looking at this. I'm seeing all these signals that we've got everywhere on here. I got some signals coming, like, on stations. And I don't, I, I, I genuinely, I'm, I'm looking at these. I'm really trying my best to understand how these signals are placed and what advantage each signal is for. And I would not be able to replicate this. I, I absolutely would not be able to replicate this. This is why in Factorio, for those of you who watch Factorio series, I don't do trains going backwards and forwards on any tracks at all. I never do that. I have trains running around a single continuous loop. Trains running around a single continuous one-way loop, that I can do. I can get that established. I can deal with that. That is something that I can cope with. Trains not doing something like that. Look, see, they're running right through here gone right past each other without any problems they've been they're on the correct sides of the tracks i don't know if there's route finding technology going on with the actual game helping this out a bit or not i i, I don't really know about that como cargo station over there i've only got 33 or 34 up there now i was hoping that i would get to 50 up there i'm 37 if we can get to 50 there on the iron ore we've only got to do one trip up and then back that's 41. I might pause the train. I might get the train to stop right here until that... No, that's as much as I can take. Pause. Can I edit the cargo station? Oh, I know what I can do. Line 9. Manage line. Go here. Friedrich cargo station. Como cargo station. Load if available. Uh, full load any, full load all. Set that to full load. There. It will only move when I've got a full load. Right. Carry on. Papa Big Truck, you are the one that we're watching. And then Como Cargo Station. I got 42. That's my limit there uh, for the cargo station. So I've now got all of that. I got the grain going any other way, and now I'm literally just going to sit here and wait until it has put more ore from there onto the train. Is it going to do that? It's putting grain on this side. I've got grain coming in here. But it's not doing any more. Shipment 19. 45. Or was it? It was on 45 before, wasn't it? I thought it was on 43. I need 50. If we can get it to 50, then it'll be fine. I don't need it to do anything more. I just need it to reach 50 points. I got another train coming in there. That train is waiting. No, it's, it is working. I got 46 there. I just need another four. However long it takes, we need another four. If you could hurry up. I can get those four, and then I could do them. I got loads of grain building up here. 48 right there. I'll be able to change this over in a minute. I'm on 48. If I can get two more, then it, it'll be fine. It, you know, it probably would have been quicker just to let it run. It really would. At the rate that this is going, it probably would have been quicker just to let it go. There's this 40, not 50. Right, we've done it. Uh, so then I can go back to line nine. No, I just managed the line there. And um, go to that one like that. I do the same on there. 
Right, now I can run on through, and we've already got some coal delivered. We've got the rest of the iron ore going to go, and then that bit will be done. There's going to be one more side mission, I think. Isn't there? I think there's one more side mission that we've got to complete before the rest of it is all done. We've just got to wait for this dude to run through now. We look over here at Friedrich Schaffen Cargo Station. I've got 77 coal waiting over this side. That's hardly fair. That's my full load. Whereas back on the other side, I didn't have that many. There's Papa Big Truck racing through. I only had 51 ultimately I left the station with. But the, the station is smaller. Como Station over here is smaller. Now what I could do, if I configure the station, can I alter it? If I go to here, am I able to add a bit more cargo building right there? Platform. Wait, cargo buildings? Small side building with street access. Main buildings. Platforms there. Tracks. Uh, passenger cargo platform right there. That's a collision on there. Construction lock. I can't change that anyway. I'm not allowed to put anything extra in there. Uh, so that wouldn't have been an option. Changing that bit over that, that's not an option there. So we, we can't do anything about it. Not that it really matters. We do have the train going in the right direction. That's Jimmy J down there. That's, the, that's our troublemaker there, Jimmy J. He's only carrying one passenger. You can do better. You can do better. The line overall... Oh, no, that's... Okay. Ryan King has cost me 10 grand. Jimmy J over here... Oh, no, that's Jason Anthony, who's made me $25,000. I always knew he was a good lad. Uh, Jimmy J has made me 5 grand. So Jimmy's not doing too bad. Ryder over here has cost me $6,000, so Ryder is definitely someone that we want to keep an eye on. Jason Entwistle has made me $4,000. Jason Anthony, he's 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 top, he's the top dude right there. Ryder is $8,500. I mean, he's gone a little bit cheaper right now, but um, yeah, he's... Ryder is, is costing me money. He's costing me money hand over fist. It's, it's, it's just unacceptable, to be honest. Completely unacceptable. Now all I've got to do is deliver 80 coal all the way back through over to this side. And we've dealt with that bit. I don't know if we're going to have more deliveries that we're going to have to make somewhere. Possibly we are. Possibly we're not. There is Papa Big Truck coming in through the mountains from our little camera up there. And if we look right here, you can see him there. That's him right there. Went in through that tunnel, and he's going to come racing around that corner in a minute. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click on him over here, and we're going to watch him in there. And look at that. See, nobody is blocked. Nobody is sort of out of the way. He's, gonna, he's waiting over there politely while this load of coal comes in through. And then the coal comes racing in down through this way. Uh, no other trains over this side that are going to get in his way. And he's pausing up over there. He's actually going to want to come into this the Como cargo station down here. And there I've got... So he'll come up to there. And then you've got cross just after that to run between the two. And there we go. At last, the war is over. Thanks to your clever logistics tactics, the country has survived the catastrophe relatively unscathed. Now it's time to look ahead and guide the Federal Railways towards a profitable future. However, first of all, there are still some repairs to be made. The railroad infrastructure in the neighboring countries suffered heavy damage during the war. Provide help in the course of rebuilding. Deliver 25 machines to the break in the line at Schaffhausen. A new vehicle is available, the BC4 as a new carriage. Uh, 25 machines to break in the line at Schaffhausen, which is over here. North Switzerland awaits a high-ranking visitor. None other than Sir Winston Churchill himself has announced a brief visit. Only the cream of the crop is good enough for this eminent figure. All right. 
A celebrity as dignified as Mr. Churchill deserves to be treated appropriately. Use your best locomotive to chauffeur the Englishman around the country. Deploy the clay 24 Red Arrow on the route from Zurich to St. Gallen. Right, I can do that. On the route from Zurich to St. Gallen, which is from there over to down there. So it's just between those two. I don't have to do anything special to that. Uh, I want the Zurich passenger station over here. So I need a new route to go between the two. New line. Zurich passenger station to St. Gallen passenger station. That's all I need to do there is line 10, run those two like that. And then I want to buy vehicles. The locomotive that I want is... Which one did he say it was? I don't know what vehicle I'm supposed to be using. Multiple. Oh, it's that one. The multiple unit. There. Add that one right there. You can't add anything extra to it. It takes 20 passengers just as it is. So I will buy that bad boy right there. This one is going to need a name. So we will click on there like that. And we will name... How much? Hang on a minute. How much did that one cost us? 2.7 million. Not too shabby, I suppose. Not too shabby. Uh, I want to go to there. And this one is called Rusty Nail. Rusty Nail 67962. 67962. I don't know what the significance of the four numbers is at the end. Maybe it's his pin number. I have no idea. Um, but there we go. There is Rusty Nail. And he is going to be established on line 10. Missing electric tracks. A path has to be found, but one or more sections of the path are not electrified. Right, so we've got to put some electricity on here. Can we do that yet, or have I got to put in another train depot? May have to put in another train... Still not letting me do this, is it? Not allowed to build. This is not very helpful. It says that I got to use that train. But the route. I can't. How am I supposed to do that? I don't have. Right now I'm just very, very confused because the train it said that I got to use needs electricity, right? And I can't use electricity on the track. I don't have electricity on this track. Either side, like, I come out of here, there's no electricity on the track there. There is some on this bit, which runs up to here. And that runs up that way to Schaffhausen. Up there, I've... Got to deliver some materials up to Schaffhausen, up here. North construction site. I've got to get some... Uh, another train has got to be going up that way. I've got a passenger train that needs to go to Schaffhausen. is no longer able to go there. So I've got, I got to redirect that passenger train and no longer have it going up there just for a minute. So I'll remove that station. And I need to get machine parts... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers and lorry drivers and bus drivers and boat drivers and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.